what is up welcome to uh, my channel yeah as you can see i'm taking so much water because uh so much uh warming up so i'm just trying to cool my temperature by taking so much water uh which can actually cool down your temperature uh because the, the amount of heat actually um the, the amount of heat in terms of sweating and so on is actually getting uh, so much of the water out of your body and if you're not trying to replace that by taking in more water then that's gonna leave you in terms of uh, dehydration and so on okay so um, welcome to my presentation about uh, uh, fish farming and uh, this is about uh, profitability calculation for those uh, who actually have got some doubt about uh, how much profit can you make if you start fish farming how much money is there in fish farming and uh, is it five or is it uh, you know can I start fish farming can I you know what and um, anything so um, this video is about um, those of you who are watching me I would like to present to you about uh, profitability calculation and uh, if you're watching this video um, please don't forget to subscribe so that uh, you can continue and constant uh, be able to receive this kind of updates and uh, be the first person to get the first hand information you know what I'm saying so let's jump right into it okay so when we actually really talk about uh, fish farming we are talking about uh, the keeping of fish and of course um, that is only defined as to to, in terms of um, you know the scope of fish farming, more especially in Zambia, in our country, that uh, fish farming is regarded as uh, you know just kind of a uh, keeping fish. But I will stick to that of which it is not the case that fish farming is is is, is just a you know you know an element from aquaculture. But there is much more that we can actually do from fish farming. Okay, so so much about that. Then let me just start. Mm, uh, doing some profit calculation so if you can I can encourage you you get your pen or pen um, uh, paper and then just uh, follow me and uh, get some key concept about uh, profit calculation okay so let's start now okay so one of the things that you must understand about uh, uh, fish farming calculation is that um, I need to know what kind of a pond Am I looking at uh, what size the pond that I'm looking at? And then also, I have to know um, probably uh, if I know the pond, the size of the pond, then that is a starting point, okay? So the starting point is... Okay, so the size of the pond that probably maybe for the sake of this example, but this will not just restrict. Uh, you don't have to be restricted just to this kind of a uh, uh, size of the pond. There is uh, so many sizes, and uh, the sizes actually goes with uh, how much money you have. Now, I don't want to tell you to say this kind of a pond requires so much. Okay, I need just to calculate how much everything is going to. Everything that uh, I need to start up this kind of a pond. Okay. Now from there, this is a 20 by 30, so it's measured in uh, meters. So that means I can multiply to find the area which gives me this. Okay. Now from there, then I can ask myself, what is a stocking density? The stocking density is how much per square meter. Uh, of fish it might be put in okay or, or how much of the per square meter how much fish should it be put in okay so this is uh, going to be stocking okay so I would say the standard is that uh, you can say one meter square equals to seven fish or the, the small fishes are uh, the, the fingerlings or 10, 10 fish okay so you can take any of those two numbers but for me I'm going to take any number in between okay so this is going to be that uh, I 
I'll take nine. So let's uh, fingerlings. Okay. So let's say uh, per meter square, I'm put nine fingerlings. Okay. So now, what about in the entire size of the pond? In the entire size of the pond. So this is going to be this. And then I equal to x, which I don't know. Then you cross it, multiply. Okay, this is going to be x equals to 600 meter square multiplied by 5. Okay, so this is going to give me something like 5,400. Okay. So that is how much you can get when you are putting per square meter nine fish or the small the small fish that you are talking about this the, 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 the small fingerings okay just like uh, the size of the last finger uh, which we are calling the fingering okay so you can take the number between seven to ten any number there you can take it uh, I would encourage you that uh, you take eight or nine. Uh, because you don't want to actually go outside the maximum and also below the minimum. So I just want to be at the middle or the average. Okay, so I'll get that. Okay, so now after understanding that, now let's see how much, uh, because I need to purchase this number of fingering. So how much am I going to purchase this uh, fingering? I can, I can purchase them from uh, maybe uh, Moekela, you know, uh, Moekela offices or I can go to Solwezo. I can actually seek for anyone who is already doing fish farming and then they are able to sell me the fingerlings. So I can purchase those uh, fingerlings from any of the, the suppliers that I've talked about. Okay. So you're going to say cost of cost of the fingering. Okay, so now uh, we'll talk also about the cost of the fingering. The cost of the fingering, depending on where you're buying from, and uh, I have to actually warn you that um, when you're buying the fingering, the person who's supplying the fingering, Ensure that you are getting the quality finger because you are doing this for the purpose of a business and every business the the notion or the objective the idea behind that business is to make profit so you don't want to actually lose a lot of money but you want to actually get out whatever that is uh, you can get in terms of profit so ensure that uh, whatever you are buying the fingerings from please please they are of the good quality okay so don't just buy from anyone. So, okay, so now we are going to say, uh, let's say one fingering, one fingering, you are buying it at um, one quarter fifth and way. Now, the total cost of buying those uh, 5,400 fingering would be this. Okay, so this is going to give you 8,100, okay. So it's going to give you 8,100. So this is how much you're going to spend in acquiring the fingering that amounts to 5,400 fingering. So um, uh, I hope that you're taking note so that uh, if you happen to start this kind of a business, you'll be able to refer to this kind of a calculation and then you can also do some adjustment, okay? So now let us also move on. But before I move on, you can see the numbers there that I've written on top that feed cost. Now, what that means is that uh, uh, there is a, a level, the, the levels of feed, okay? There, there is different types of feed, the starter, the grower, the finisher, and um, of each of the levels, I've just uh, taken the constant, an assumption that, uh, let's say, uh, this is how much each of the bag is being sold at. Probably if it is a 25 kg or 50 kg, I don't know, but, um, you can actually check out with uh, any of the companies that sell fish feed. 
you can go to Zambif, you can go to maybe Namfish, or you can go to National Mining and actually get the actual prices of, of feed, depending on those uh, three kind of uh, uh, feed levels. Okay, so this is the cost. Now let us go to, I want to put that, um, Now, the fact that uh, this pond is that, uh, you, you, let's assume that you are constructing, okay? Because there is also, you can just uh, uh, construct um, what we call an earthen pond. But let us just say you are constructing this pond. And uh, I'm just going to take, assume that everything for construction is mounting to 20,000, okay? Mounting to 20,000 and then cost of the fingerlings okay so this is eight one one and then let me also the salary so the salary for the start you can just employ one person you can just employ one person of course you can just employ one person and um, um since the maturity of the fish would actually take for six months so let's say you are paying that person one thousand five hundred per month so in six months you multiply this by six six months so this is going to give you i think um this will give you Okay, so that is how much expense you are going to spend in terms of uh, once you employ someone um, and then uh, you calculate within the harvest period, which is uh, after six months, how much money is going to accumulate in terms of uh, salary expense. Okay, now if that is understood, uh, make sure that uh, you, you are following me and uh, which I believe you, you are doing that. So, okay. Now let's move on to <clears throat> So now what does that mean target of um Target of fish weight means that uh, uh, when, when I take to the market the fish, then um, I should be able to have an idea. Let's say you take small fish, uh, that can actually make your customers to doubt to say uh, this fish is not good. Probably that would make you or result into losses that you can encounter. But um, there is also a notion of an idea that um, to what extent do you want your fish to grow within the period of six months okay now for the sake of this example i would say our market size is a uh, three three hundred grams okay now from there i need to convert this so you say grams to kilo kilograms so this is going to be uh, 300 multiplied by uh, 1,000. Okay. So this and this goes, this will give us 0 0.3 kg. Okay, so that is our market target. Probably we want to deliver something on the market that is uh, 
which is having the weight of uh, 300 grams. Now from there, we also want to know how much is also the initial weight of the fish, the small finger, okay? So this is taken to be the final, okay, so the final weight of the fish that would like us um, to raise the fish to this amount of uh, weight. And then the initial one is now the initial weight um, or rather the mass is going to be in the sense that um, uh, the fingering okay it, 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 they are they have actually already calculated so you can say it's uh, estimated at uh, five grams okay so this five grams converted to kg so that uh, you have the standard unit of uh, measuring the mass okay so okay so this is g g goes and then you're going to have 0 0.005 kg now once you do that then you have to find now the weight gain which is now final minus final minus initial so this is going to be 0 0.3 kg minus 0 0.005 kg so this is going to give you uh, 0 0.295 kg okay so from the period from the time you actually purchase your finger and then put them into the pond and then as they grow you are actually measuring the weight the weight of the fish and then there is a target there is a predetermined target that i want to raise the fish to 300 grams or 350 depending on your capacity so that is, that also varies there isn't a standard um, market size okay so you just have to be dragged by the market what the market is buying and what the market likes in terms of the size or other the weight now after you do that so after you do that now uh, the next thing is um, to calculate the okay we need to calculate the total feet which is given as total feet equals to weight gain multiply by the <clears throat> okay. so the total feet equals to weight gain which is this multiply by the total number of fish that is um, that is 5,000 okay so the total number don't forget it is 5,400 so you put that number and then also the FCR now the FCR is the standard number that has been experimentally determined by scientists or rather the fish scientists they have actually determined that number which is uh, the recommended FCR is equal to 1.5 now there is a concept that uh, this number is that um, the lower the number may then that will be the the good or the more the feed will be consumed by the fish okay or maybe the chicken if you are rearing the chicken or the pigs so from there now we can say total feed equals to the weight gain 
zero point two nine five kg multiplied by total number of fish. Okay. Then from there one point five. Okay. So zero point two nine five kg multiplied by five thousand four hundred fish multiplied by the FCR which is 1.5 from there you'll be able to get something like um, so 2389.5 kg of feet Okay, so you'll be able to get 2385.5 kg of the feet that would be consumed by, by your fish. So from there, the other concept that you can take, uh, from there now you can say, from there now you can say, I want also to know how many bags of uh, feed am I going to buy within the period of uh, uh, six months. Okay, so it is from that concept because the key is the total number of uh, fish that you have. So, number of number of bags. Okay, so the number of bags is equal to total feed which is in kg total feed in kg divided by let's say for instance um, the bags may be found as a 50 kg of bags or the 25 kg of bags now i'll take the um 50 kg bags so 50 kg or Okay, so we have total feed, which is this, divided by the 50 bags, uh, 50 kg of bags. Maybe I want to define buying my feed, which is packed into the 50 kg, as well as uh, if I can manage uh, to buy yeah, the 50 uh, the bags of uh, feed, which is packed in 50 kg, then I can buy those that are packed in uh, 25 uh, kg. So from there, this is going to give me two three eight that five kg divide by then the 50 kg so from there this number is just the county number the number of bags so this can cancel this can cancel now from there what you get is um 0.2 